ladies and gentlemen, look what we got early. I, I, I am, I am, I am, yes, I, I am, I am, yeah, which college? I, so, so as an Orzhov guy, I am definitely excited about Silver Quill, but Prismari has some fantastic art. Uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about Wither Bloom or Holding Quandrix yet, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's here. Hello, Hogwarts, here we are. This is lit. I'm excited. We, let's just, let's just get right into this. Let us just get right into this. I, uh, wow. I had a rough day at work today, so this is exactly what I needed, honestly, to get out and, and to, to find this. Okay. All right, all right. Remove, oh yes. This is a set booster box, uh, as you may or may not be aware, I think, I think draft and collector, at least draft, I know, uh, is delayed. So right now it is uh, get your get your set boxes. Get your set boxes. So I'm gonna put that uh somewhere else. So we've got our uh, we've got our set boosters here. Oh, what is it? 30, right? I'm pretty sure it's 30 a box. Let let's just let's just get cracking. Let's just get crack. I am so excited. I am I am overjoyed right now. make this a uh, somewhat of an organized pile because I am I am gonna have a big pile to sort through expanded anatomy oh yo, look at oh, I love magic art so much oh my god mage hunters onslaught rise of Extus. I believe he's our Voldemort lash of malice mage hunter Access tunnel land. Hall monitor. <laughs> it's quite literally a monitor lizard. Fantastic. Vine glimmer snarl. Verdant mastery. Divine gambit. That's right. This is set. This is the set. Okay. Okay. So this is our mystical archive. We've got divine gambit. I gotta put that in a separate pile. And a star pupil. Star pupil as our foil common. And yes, I am totally lost. And what is this? A token creature ink. Oh, that's for silver quill, so I'm actually gonna need that. So I'm gonna make a foil pile. Oh, you can't see it, but that's cause that's because we don't have to worry about that. Right? Actually, I'll put that out of screen because we're gonna have quite an intimidating pile uh, by the end of this. Am I the only person who makes uh, a pile for all foils, even when they're cons? Because I like to protect my cards so they don't become Pringles, even if they're worth like five cents. Is this a Quandrix art card? Let's see. It's Brainstorm. Could just be a, could just be a blue card. That's, that's, that's some sick art, though. Uh, Swampland. Fractal Summoning. Shield Mage, Combat Professor, Lorehold Pledge Mage, look at this dude, looking like Rise from Legion of Legends, he's a core shaman, and also yeah, they have this Magecraft situation, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, Lorehold and Pledge Mage gets plus one plus zero until end of turn, and he's a first strike unit. Lorehold Campus for our dual land. A separate dual land pile, I suppose. Show of confidence. Dueling coach. Karak Wrangler. Archmage Emeritus. It's one of our rares. The Spark as one of our mystical archive cards. That is just. That is just sick. 
I, did, I, I just love quite literally all of it. I, I, I don't think it's possible for me to dislike any of these. I think they're all sick. I don't care what anyone has to say about Mystical Archive cards. This is just awesome. That in that pile. And Practical Research, which I believe this is uh, Rowan and Will, two of our... Uh, Two of our star planeswalkers. I know Rowan's a planeswalker. I'm pretty sure Will is as well. And that's our foil card. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And Spellbook as our artifact. Is that a list card? I believe that is a list card. Spellbook. You have no maximum hand size. I I just cannot wait to uh, to get out there and start playing uh, Paper Magic. And to move on from uh, from a so I think my paper magic might be commander rather than standard, but I still want to collect the cards anyway. We've got plenty of art cards to go around. They feel so nice too. Kazmina Enigma saves. That's the Planeswalker Kazmina. The commander. Uh, Forest. Introduction to Prophecy. Also, this is a lesson card. So this is one of those new, new sticks. Looks like he's a. Uh, Pulling his name out of the Goblet of Fire here. Scry two, then draw a card. I make a separate lesson pile, actually. Talon Shield Mage. Combat Professor. Warhold Pledge Mage again. Warhold Campus for our dual lands. It's another Warhold Campus. Enthusiastic Study. Twin Scroll Shaman. Ooh, yo, this dude looks cool. It's a Dwarf Shaman. Yo, I love dwarves. You know what's like some some of these artists? Who's this? Chris Seaman. This this. If you're out there, Chris, this is fantastic art. Like this is a common card, but this just looks so great. Like it almost feels like it's a foil just because of how the the fire, like the lighting of the fire, streaks past the parchment. This this is great art, Chris. Great art. Let's see if I can find him on social media. Commend him on that. Explosive welcome. Blot out the sky. That is a mythic rare. Sorcery. Create X tapped two white, two one white and black inkling creature tokens with flying. If X is six or more, destroy all non-creature non-land permanents. Okay, so this I'm gonna need for Silver Quill. Sad thing is. I want to try out Silver Quill because I like Orzhov, but one of the things that they were actually stressing with this set is that just because the colors are the same, like, like Silver Quill does not equal Orzhov. They might have certain things in common, but they are not one and the same. They're going to play differently. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'm going to make that, put that in the Mythic Pile. Agonizing Remorse for our Mystical Archive card. And Reckless Amplomancer. That is... Trying to look at it actually off the foil is almost overwhelming on this. Gotta look at it at a, at a good angle to get a good look at the art, but I like it. Double Reckless Amplomancer's power and toughness until end of turn. <laughs> Linear growth? What am I, a first year? Alright, so we got, we got some cocky students at this school. And of course, welcome to Arena. By all means, you should try out. I, uh, I do like Arena. It's a very uh, nice and affordable way to play the game. And came, uh, came into more popularity during the pandemic. I'm sure you all know. Just our, oops, backwards. We don't need, uh, we don't need that. Sorry for the sneak peek I gave you there. Got our art card, Rise of Extus. Looks fantastic. Mountain for our land. Reduced to memory, so we have another sorcery. I wish I could like zoom in on this art. It is quite literally like peering into another world. That is so cool. And it's like not even like most of like what's surrounding what's actually happening is like, it's just, it's just there, like it's background, but what's going on in the center has such presence that it stands out even though it's not like in your face. Great work, great work, Campbell White. Crushing Disappointment. B 
Gleaming Defiance. Target creature you control gains plus two, plus two, and gains hexproof until end of turn. That could have use. That could have use in one of my decks. We'll see. Infuse with Vitality. Hunt for specimens. Oh, pest creatures, nice. Pest creature tokens. Oh, Detention Vortex. That was my card of the day, I think, yesterday. I'm filming this on April 16th. You guys will not see it till probably Monday. Today's Friday, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see what happens. I might be very excited to put it up. Secret Rendezvous. Look at that. Strict Haven's five colleges encourage natural, rivalry, natural rivalries among the students, but some bonds transcend all barriers. Isn't that nice? That's just beautiful. Grinning Ignis. On rare occasions, a Prismarine student will summon an elemental that shows such promise that it's permitted to stay and enroll. Yo, there's, there's, there's always a story going on here with these cards, which is which is some of the hype, honestly. Blade Historian. That is a cool dude. That is a cool dude. Infuriate. I love the art for this. I love the art for this. Yes, let's go. And Accomplished Alchemist, which you got a sneak peek of before. Throw that in the foil pile. This, this is gonna be a long video. This, I'm gonna try not to make it too long, but I, I, I do enjoy uh, savoring the flavor of these cards. We have this fantastic art card, actually. They're all great. Shadewing Laureate. We've got an island. <laughs> Academic Probation. It's our sorcery lesson, so we'll put that in the lesson pile. Enthusiastic Study again. I, I love this one, actually. If the pen is mightier than the sword, just think what a giant tome could do. Twin Scroll Shaman, back at it again. Yo, what's good, Chris? What's good, Chris Seaman, with the great art? I love it. Make your mark. Yo, what's good with this? Yo, this set has lit. This set's art is so great. Good job, Brian Sola. Good job. Good job. Everybody loves a flaming sword, especially if you play D&D. Relic Sloth. Illustrious Historian Lady. Bro, Brian Valeza. I'm sorry if, if any artist that I'm not calling out their names, it's it's not that it's not that their art is not up to snuff. It's just there's some that just stand out to me. You may have noticed by now that uh, I have quite an attachment to red cards with their art. Uh, tenured Ink Caster. Oh, I got a Vampire Warlock here. Nice, nice. We love vampires. We want to see more. Closing statement. Oh, this is a, like a, a duel. That's cool. Multiple choice. It is a school set. Putrefy. Look at this. This is cool. This is cool. Destroy target artifact or creature. Can't be generated. Blah, blah. That's sick. That's sick. I, I think this is one of the ones you can use because I know there's a good chunk of mystical archive cards that are still banned in historic if I remember correctly but I'm gonna have to take a look at that again and a foil twin scroll shaman let's you know what's funny I actually think I like the non-foil better but this is still really cool to have in the collection This this uh this Greek soldier this looks like a Spartan soldier charging into the void, into the abyss. So we have a foil land. So I'm gonna put that in the foil pile. Environmental sciences. That is a lesson card. Make your mark has made its return. Mentor's guidance. Test of talents. 
flunk. That was a necessary card. Minus X minus X until end of turn where X is seven minus the number of cards in that creature's controller's hand. Oh, that has potential. Yes, it does. Go blank. Oh, I think that was, that was also a card of the day this week. Stonebinder's familiar. Put a plus one plus one counter. This really triggers only once each turn. Ardent Dust Speaker. Blade Historian. It's coming back from the pages of history. And Doom Blade. Destroy target non-black creature. An angel can shine like the sun, inspire the weak, and even threaten victory over darkness. But in the end, it matters not, for it still dies like any other pest. Alright, Edge Lord Obnix list. And a foil snow day. And light up the stage as our list card actually. This art card is going to be Dragon's Guard Elite by David Raposa. So great of them to showcase these artists, man, because they, they do such a great job. Plains Land, Spirit Summonings, we got Warhold Sorcery lesson here. Unwilling Ingredient, Novice Dissector, Bayou Groff. Tangle Trap, Oops. Expressive Iteration, that's a Prismari card, right at a glance, it's so obvious even if you couldn't see the colors here. They are the Theater Kids, we've got a Maelstrom Muse as well, another Pris Prismari card it seems. Draconic Intervention, we take anything with a dragon on it. Draconic Intervention deals X damage to each non-dragon creature where X is the exiled card's mono value. If a creature dealt damage this way would die this turn, exile instead. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, Mila Crafty Companion as an extended art. Mythic Rare. Does it have another side? Yes, it does with Luca Wayward Bonder as a Planeswalker. We're gonna set that aside in our mythic pile, which is right there. And we've got Negate. We've got Negate right there and Eager First Year Foil. And oh, don't forget to buy your secret layers, kiddos. Couldn't forget that. And it's also a token spirit. Who could forget to buy their secret lairs? They'd never let you forget. There's our token elemental card. I'll just put that there right off the bat. Ooh, that looks sick. We'll take those. We take those for sure. So, our art card. Oh, that's the uh, that's the Silver Quill Dragon. Shadrick Silver Quill, yeah. Boy Jay Leno with the strong jaw. We take those. Got a mountain land. Start from scratch. Sorcery lesson. Excavated wall. Tome shredder. Thrilling discovery. You gain two life, then you may discard two cards. If you do, draw three cards. Okay. Not bad. Spell. Ooh, exile target tapped creature. I like that. Stonebound mentor. I really like expel. Humiliate. What's that? Oh, that's just another silver quill student. Shadewing laureate. That's the card that we actually got in, uh, an art card of before. Frost Boil Snarl and Natural Order. 
as our Mystical Archive card. And a foil blot out the sky, okay. I'll take that, I will put that, I'll leave that in the Mythic Pile even though it's a foil, nice. So we got two copies of Blot Out the Sky, which is great because I was planning on, I don't know if I was gonna stick with Silver Quill, but I have interest in it, so nice to get two uh, white black mythics. Let's see if this ends up being a Silver Quill box, who knows? Which one is this? So this is a Wither Bloom Command, my apologies. I remember they were saying there, there's like, I think there's a command card for each, uh, for each college. So we got planes, expanded anatomy, relic sloth, illustrious historian, excavated wall, tome shredder, thrilling discovery, Lorehold Excavation. Quintorius Field Historian. Yo, what up? That is the uh that is the go-to Lorehold legendary. Put that aside. Oh, Wither Bloom Command in the pack as well. I'm gonna put that. I guess we'll just leave it in that pile. Actually, I'll be up there. Thrill of Possibility our mystical archive card and foil common frost trickster and of course we have our little our little mini games here and it's a token no it's not oh that's right the booster mini games are just their own little their own little thing their own little shtick gotta get going i'm losing daylight here Treasure tokens. We're gonna put that here. That is definitely a Wither Bloom card. Oh, it's just a forest land. Wow, it looks so freaking so Wither Bloom. We got a mountain land. Inkling summoning. Scurrid colony. Spring Main Servant, Leech Fanatic, Blood Researcher, got another Vampire, it's a Vampire Druid, Spectre of the Fens, Snow Day, Prismari Apprentice, yes, 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 I was looking forward to pulling this card because I love the art for it. Prismari Command, Right after, got a Defiant Strike, an Ardent Dust Speaker, foil this time, and that's it, right? Yeah. All right, that is the first of three portions. That is our first third done. Oh, this is a signed one. Oops, 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 oops. Arrogant Poet by Billy Christian. That's cool. I don't know if there's a significance for signed ones. I'm gonna have to look into that. But that's cool regardless. Swamp. Inkling Summoning. Spined Karak. Cram Session. Witherbloom Campus, Snow Day, Prismari Apprentice again, Creative Outburst, Ooh, I like this, 5 damage to any target, look at the top 5 cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order, okay. Got a Spell Satchel, Baleful Mastery. Duress, of course. I like the art for it. 
and a foil Prismaria Prentice. Okay, so we've got our Prismaria Prentice and we have a list card in Iterative Analysis. Token card is Fractal, and our art card, love this, is Sign in Blood, that's cool. We have a Forest, Introduction to Annihilation, Heated Debate, Augyar Battle Seer. Give me a second. Let's get some light in here. <laughs> normally I would, uh, sorry, normally I would uh, be doing this earlier in the daytime, but I, I couldn't wait. I was too excited. I'm sorry. Got Augyar Battle Seer. Sudden breakthrough. Look at how great the art looks, man. Look at the smoke. Elemental masterpiece. That looks sick, man. That looks amazing. Is it Marta Nile or Marta Nile? I think it's Nile. My apologies if I'm mispronouncing. Resculpt. Helpy Guide. Efreet Flame Painter. I wanted this. It's an Efreet Shaman. Double Strike, and whenever it deals damage to a player, combat damage rather, you may cast Target, Instant, or Sorcery card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. We love fire. We love fire cards. Quandrix Command, another command card, nice. And Faithless Looting. There. There it is. There is the card. <laughs> and that is the tweet. And a Quandrix Pledge Mage. Trying to keep my piles organized. And we have a, you guessed it, treasure token. But if you look at the other side, that's cool. Very much into Prismari. So we have an art card in the form of oh, Lean and Light Scribe. So, Island Land, Pest Summoning, Star Pupil, Exhilarating Elocution. That is a Silver Quill card, all right. Guiding Voice, Lorehold Excavation, Quintorius Field Historian makes another appearance, that's our second one, Reconstruct History, Lorehold Apprentice, Manifestation Sage, Adventurous Impulse, archive card and compulsive research so we have a foil mystical archive card nice nice every planeswalker remembers the first time their mind touched the staggering vastness of the multiverse that's cool that is cool let's get to our next pack here We have, which dragon is this? Is this the Withered Lumia? Belladros Withered Loom. It's a cool, cool looking dragon. I like the area, I like the it's lair, I suppose. So we have a foil land mountain. Basic conjuration. Withered Bloom Pledge Mage. 
Essence Infusion. Star Pupil again. Exhilarating Elocution again. Storm Kiln Artist again. We love to see dwarves. We've got a dwarf shaman here. With plus one, plus zero for each artifact you control. Team Pennant. Oh, I got our little Quidditch reference. Manifestation Sage. Flame Scroll Celebrant. Yes, it's another card with fire in the art, and so we shill it, ladies and gentlemen. We got Teferi's Protection. And Killian Ink Duelist. It's our foil legendary card. And Chemister's Insight from the list. I, I, wow. I truly want to go back and get another box. Quiz. I've seen this art all over the place from Matt Stewart. I think it's great. I think like the tension is honestly palpable in this and we've all been in a situation like this and it's just so funny to see that that pop that actual pop quiz tension in in a magical form. <laughs> you know? Today it's hydromancy. I thought it was amplomancy. I studied for amplomancy. Yeah, I've been there. Not with Hydromancy and Amplomancy, but here we are. Pigment Storm. Spectacle Mage. Love it. Waterfall Aerialist. I love it. A Gin Wizard. As I love fire, so I love water. Form and function in perfect unity. Simone Quandrix Prodigy. Yo. Loving the background. Loving the background of this. I think Quandrix is so cool. Like, what are they complaining about? It's not like axiomatic ley line paratrigonometrics is hard. <laughs> She's great. Decisive denial. Oh, it's her. Isn't it? Am I bugging? I think so. Semester's end. Now that's a card. And opt. Where would we be without an opt card? And vortex runner as our foil. So we've got our card, Dragon's Guard Elite. I like that. Got Island. Elemental Summoning. Promising Dusk Mage, Human Warlock. Professor's Warning. Oh, there's Professor Onyx. Letter of Acceptance. To Hogwarts, of course. First Day of Class. Now we're going chronological order here. Returned Past Caller. Professor of Symbology. A language isn't dead until we stop learning from that from it. I like that. Clever Luminancer. Galazeth Prismari. Okay, so that's the Prismari dragon, the Elder Dragon. Croson Grip. Pigment Storm as our foil, and we have a list card. We've got Necromancy by Pete Venters. It's a 1996 card. Hot damn. I actually like this art. I'm not normal, and maybe this is sacrilege to some people, but I'm not normally a fan of like the, some of the older magic art, but I like this. So that shouldn't be sacrilege. I complimented the art. I complimented the card. Don't attack me. 
What do we got next? What do we got next? Let's hope. Oh boy. Oh. Elemental token. We got plenty of those. Oh, we got the art card for Professor of Symbology by Jason Rainville. We got our mountain. Introduction to Prophecy. Sorry, Wesson, we got that before. Guiding Voice. Promising Dusk Mage. Professor's Warning again. Letter of Acceptance. First day of class. Zephyr Boots. Oh, it gives them flying, nice. One cost flying card as well. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, then discard a card, okay? It's a shame you don't have the option, but I guess that would be kind of wild for a one cost. Umbral Juke, okay. Gnarled Professor. Cultivate, yes, absolutely. And a Foil Storm Kiln Artist. This time, our token is a fractal, and our art card is, this is, I don't know, this is Silver, Silver Quill Command, I recognize this one, and I am correct, Silver Quill Command by Brian Sola, I love it, the swagger is infinite. So we've got Forest, Inkling Summoning. Prismari Pledge Mage, Prismari Campus, Campus Guide, Defend the Campus, Solve the Equation, there's a Moan card, uh, Plum the Forbidden, Frostboil Snarl, Augmenter Pugilist, as long as you control 8 or more lands, Augmenter Pugilist gets plus 5 plus 5, nice. Tendrils of Agony as our Mystical Archive card. And Professor's Warning Foil this time. God, I would love to get a uh, Japanese Demonic Tutor, but if I remember correctly, it's in the uh, Collector's Packs. And I am not buying Collector's Packs. I might just buy the single for that. So, for our art card, we've got, I think this was Mira, or Mila? Yes, Mila Crafty Companion by Young J. Choi. We've got Planes. Mercurial Transformation. Eager First Year. Spiteful Squad. Yes, absolutely. Arrogant Poet, Silver Quill Campus, Silver Quill Pledge Mage, nice, we're getting some more Silver Quills, Fracture, Silver Quill Apprentice, there we go, Venerable War Slinger, or War Singer, sorry, and Shock, that's, I like that art for Shock, it's very, very, uh, very comic booky on the lightning bolt design. And a foil revitalize for our mystical archive foil card. I like that. I do run revitalize. I will take that. And a list card as well. A list card as well. Grizzly Fate. It's so cool when you get two mystical archive cards. One of them is a foil and you get a list card. a pest token, I'm sorry, pest token. We've got this art card and it is a Dina Soul Steeper by Chris Ron. We've got a foil land, foil planes card. Spirit summoning, eager first year. Spiteful Squad, back at, it, back at it again. 
Arrogant Poet. Silver Quill Camp is back in it. Silver Quill Pledge Mage back in it. Mascot Interception. Practical Research. Gnarled Professor. Counterspell Mystical Archive. And a Foil Sudden Breakthrough. Nice. I actually like the foil for this one a lot. Looks nice. Looks nice. I'm gonna regret at the end of this not separating the uh, not separating the, the different college cards. Now we're getting into the third stack, the final 12 packs. So we have Make Your Mark by Brian Sola. Nice close up of that card. We've got a forest introduction to prophecy again. Lash of Malice, Crushing Disappointment, Spell Satchel, Storm Kiln Arnis, Artist, Team Pennant, Zephyr Boots, Umbral Juke, Exponential Growth, Claim the Firstborn, I do run that, and a foil mystical archive card in eliminate and is there a list card yes there is latchkey fairy the art is creepy i don't know why that's so creepy to me the freaking uh all those keys for legs So we have a fractal token and Lex Vexing Pest as our art card. It is by Ekaterina Burmack. We've got a Foil Swamp card, Spirit Summoning, Mage Hunter's Onslaught, Rise of Extus. Mage Hunter, Access Tunnel, Hall Monitor, Detention Vortex, Damagoth Titan, nice. Vilda, Dean of Perfection, the other side, Nasari, Dean of Express Expression, I like that, that's cool. Oh, it's in a freak too. That's lit. That's going in a. That's going in our cool little legendary creature pile and eliminate once again, and a foil Dina Soul Steeper, which we got an art card of before. We're almost done, folks. We're almost at the final stretch. It would be. Uh, it would be nice to pull a uh, Professor Onyx or a uh, what you call it. Kazmina Enigma Sage. It would be really cool to pull a, uh, a borderless Galazeth Prismari. We did get the uh, we get the standard uh, Galazeth Prismari, which is lit. That card's valued at like I don't know, like 18, 19 bucks. So that's cool. I won't be selling it though because I think I want to run. Uh, I think I might want to try out Prismari. Uh, so we've got a Spirit Token. Which one is this again? Ooh. Agonizing Remorse by Robbie Trevino. Swamp Card. Environmental Sciences. Oh, Reckless Amplomancer. Barog Befuddler. Arcane Subtraction. Square Up. Oh, well, that's, a, that's throwing me back to a situation at work today. <laughs> oh, Lord. Serpentine Curve. Symmetry Sage, Master Symmetrist, Strixhaven Stadium. I was wondering if I'd pull this. Yo, what's up with the Quidditch tournament freaking uh, stadium here? Nice, nice, nice. Sign in Blood, and a Foil Crushing Disappointment. Come on, 
Let's get some extended arts or borderless cards. This is lit. This is uh, Strategic Planning by Robbie Trevino. This this just looks great. I don't I don't know what people do with their art cards. I don't. But I think they're sick, and I would love to find a way to display them. So I'm gonna look into see like what people are doing with them. Um, if you have ever gotten any art cards, let's say you buy like uh, set packs, let me know what you do with your art cards. If you display them, or if you just put them in your binder or whatever. Uh, got planes. Containment Breach, Beaming Defiance, Infuse with Vitality, Hunt for Specimens, Unwilling Ingredient, Novice Dissector, Mascot Interception, Practical Research, Cody Vociferous Codex, Lightning Bolt, fantastic, how could, how could we live without Lightning Bolt? Be real with me. How could I? And Damagoth Titan. And a list card and Frost Titan, a mythic from Corset 11. Nice. I like Damagoth Titan. Very, uh, very dark card. Hard to see, but still cool. I wish that, uh, I wish that Cody card was, a uh, was an extended art. I like the extended art for that one. Be cool to pull Hoffrey Ghost Forge. Actually, you know, I, I will take my I will take my dwarf cards. Let me tell you, I will take dwarf cards. And I'm always looking for uh, more cards for the party mechanic as well. Ooh, those, those look sick. What's this? Revitalized by Justin and Alexis Hernandez. I just pulled this, didn't I? And I'm like, what is this? Ooh, ooh my, my art card pile is uh, getting ahead of itself over in the corner here. The cards are so so smooth and slick, they're slipping and sliding all over the place. Got a swamp card, illuminate history, lash of malice, crushing disappointment, beaming defiance, infused with vitality, hunt for specimens, secret rendezvous, Rip Apart, Venerable War Singer, Defiant Strike Again, and Biblioplex Assistant Everfoil. How many packs we got here? We got five packs left. Five packs left, folks. It's not over yet. We can still pull the money and then not sell it. We have an elemental token. And our art card is Introduction to Prophecy by Micah Epstein. Our old uh, Goblet of Fire card. Alright, we've got a mountain. Introduction to Annihilation. Biomathematician. Leyline Invocation, some cards I haven't pulled yet. Eureka Moment. Vortex Runner. Divide by Zero. Aether Helix. Professor Onyx. Okay, okay, we got our Professor Onyx lit. Legendary Planeswalker Liliana. Fantastic, yes. I, I couldn't live if I didn't pull one. And we got Extus as well. Extus Auric Overlord, nice. As far as I'm concerned, this dude is the Voldemort of this set. So that is fantastic. Awaken the Blood Avatar. This side, this side is even cooler. This side is just lit. Okay. Put that in our, uh, in our mythic pile here. Village Rites, classic. And a Foil Prismari Campus. Awesome. That was a good pack. That was a good pack. Very excited that we pulled the Professor Onyx. You know what? I'm not mad that it's not the borderless because I actually really like the standard mythic. So, 
So we have Emergent Sequence by Andreas Zafiratos. Right here. That looks cool, actually. I like that. I, mean, I like them all. The art cards are all great. I mean, that's what they're there for, to look great. Island? Oh, why is my, uh, hold on. Island, Elemental Summoning, Bayou Groff, Tangle Trap, Scurried Colony, Spring Main Servant, Explosive Welcome, Mentor's Guidance, Test of Talents, Radiant Scroll Wielder, that's first, that looks sick as well, and of course it's a dwarf, a dwarf cleric. Thrill of Possibility, and a Foil Resculpt. have three packs left. Three is the magic number. What is this? Oh, the Frost Boil Snarl Land Card by Sam Burley. Like that. We like that. Swamp. Necrotic Fumes. Unwilling Ingredient. Novice Dissector. Bayou Groff. Tangle Trap. Scurred Colony. Grinning Ignis. Expressive Iteration. Lorehold Command. Day of Judgment. That's a mythic, mystical, archive card. We'll take that. We will take that. Mage Hunter's Onslaught for our foil and a list card in the Core 20 set. Moldervine Reclamation. A spirit token. And this art card is Primal Command by Elena Richards. Like that. We like that. We've got a mountain card. Pest summoning. Archway Commons. Field Trip. Soothsayer Adept. Quandrix Pledge Mage. Quandrix Campus. Big play for the Quidditch homies. Golden Ratio. Don't get ratioed on Twitter. Baleful Mastery. And a Snakeskin Veil. And a Foil Spiteful Squad. Nice. And this is our last pack. What is in this bad boy? There's no token in here. The... Art card is Bookworm by Wayne Reynolds, very appropriately titled. We've got a Foil Land card, Introduction to Prophecy, Leech Fanatic, Blood Researcher, Spectre of the Fens, Moldering Karak, Professor of Zoomancy, Flunk, Go blank. Exponential growth. Duress. A foil bookworm, which was our art card. And a list mythic, Moldrotha the Grave Tide, or Moldrotha. Nice. Elemental avatar. That's great. So we pull a list mythic as our last card of the box. So that was lit. Every art card was fantastic. Um, I'm gonna go through what we got. So, for our list cards, we got Moldroth of the Grave Tide, Moldervine Reclamation, Frost Titan, Latchkey Fairy, oops, Grizzly Fate, Necromancy, Chemister's Insight, Iterative Analysis, Light Up the Stage, and Spellbook. And I won't go through the lessons for our main mythics here. We have Professor Onyx, Extus Auric Overlord, Luca Wayward Bonder, 
and two blot out the skies. One is foil, one is standard. I think we got a mythic in our uh, mystical archives, but the mystical archive cards are great. We got, yeah, Day of Judgment, mythic. God, the art on these is just spectacular. For no reason whatsoever, they just said, let's go all out. This is this is a set you can't miss, in my opinion. Jeffrey's Protection. I don't think that those were the only... This, 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 I don't know what's going on with Faceless Leading. I've seen so many memes. Natural Order, another mythic. Petrify, Infuriate. Morris, D Spark, and Divine Gambit. I know that just because it is a uh, just because it's a mythic doesn't mean it's money, but again, it doesn't matter if it's money. It just matters that it's cool. I think if it was a mythic, I would have put it in the mythic pile. I don't think I got any foil mythics. I don't think I did, did I? And then we got all those commands. Oh, that's right. We also got our uh, Galazeth Prismari Mythic. And as far as we've got like some uh, command cards and college legendaries, we got Zimone, we got Quintorius. We got another Quintorius in the back. I know I got a Quintorius. There it is, Quintorius. We got Quandrix Command, Prismari Command. Wither Bloom Command, and Invilda Dean of Perfection, and Dean of Expression, and Lorehold Command. So that is lit. This was this was awesome. I really enjoyed this. I know it was a long video. I apologize if that's not your uh, your preferred uh, duration of time to be here. But I I look. I wasn't gonna stop. I even lost daylight, but I kept going because I had to. Because I needed to see the rest of the set, and I did not want to open the rest of it off camera and deny you all the goodies. Especially us finishing with a list mythic. That's awesome. So that is the end of the Strixhaven set box. We were very fortunate to get one early. I am just absolutely zooted having the time of my life uh, with this set. So I'm looking forward to doing some deck building, seeing what I can put together with what I have, seeing what I can... Uh, use from here to augment any other decks that i have um but yeah that'll be all for now i hope you enjoyed what you saw i hope you enjoyed my pulls i certainly did and i hope you enjoyed looking at those great art cards uh and mystical archive cards which as far as i'm concerned may as well be art cards but i had a great time so uh, thanks for stopping by i hope you uh, i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to like and uh subscribe leave a comment down below let me know uh what else you might want me to open? Let me know if you want me to open more, uh, more Strixhaven on uh, on the channel. Normally, I would just do one of a booster box on the channel. Like I wouldn't uh, go and just you know open like three Strixhaven or three Vanguard of like of the same box. Uh, usually, I open the dupe boxes off camera on my own time. But if you want to see more Strixhaven, let me know. Especially since it you know it's not out yet uh, officially. So uh, thanks for stopping by. And uh, I hope your pulls are as great as mine were today. Have a great day, night, or whatever you are. Wherever you are, rather. But uh, thanks for stopping by. And uh, man, what a great set, right? It's what a great set.